I did a good artist haul at the art supply store today. I have been inspired by two painters who I want to make some work in the spirit of, not copying, just, you know, they've inspired me. So I'm gonna do some pieces. Uh, the first is Casey Savaglia, Savaglia, and I heard her on a podcast called The Jealous Curator. And she takes, well, she's a portrait painter and she uses yarn. <laughs> Please hang up and try again. So the front looks like a painted portrait and you look up close and it's you realize it's stitching and then you look around the back and it's this abstracted, bizarre... <laughs> portrait where it's, it's messier and so it represents the dichotomy of the self we present, and then this, you know, sort of more tattered, messy, crazy <laughs> sense we have for our own selves where we're trying to keep it together. But that's not how it started off. I know that she was doing this for a while, and then eventually she t looked around the back and she was like, these look so co cool in the back. Be I, I never would have, on my own, sought out to make something abstracted like this. This really has that zing of chance. So, so I made a trip to, to a sewing store here in Belfast called Sew and Sew. And I got this burlap sack here. So up close, it's nice for stitching thick yarn through and, and just creating a face. So I might do a self portrait. I might do someone else if someone wanted to you know, volunteer themselves as, as um, being being the face for my portrait. Maybe you can send me a little mula and then I will mail it to you. And so I got all these yarns and then some skin, more skin toned yarns like here. And then this is just some twine I have. That might be nice. And then this, this hot pink, cause um, that'll be, that'll be good. And then, right, and so the other one is, there's this artist named Jeremy Winberg. He mainly does portraits of uh, uh, Native Americans. I don't know if they're portraits or imagined or... So quick side note on Jeremy Winberg. I was looking at his Native American paintings and I realized I had seen him getting harassed on my old roommate's Facebook wall on Valentine's Day. He had posted a picture of Jeremy next to a, a painting of one of his Native American women that had three ribbons on it, and he goes, colonizers be colonizing. And then this um, big argument breaks out where he says that, you know, Jeremy's capitalizing on Native Americans and shaming him for having s some sort of fetish. And uh, really, it just looked like a poor, frustrated, erratic artist being mad that someone was finding success with their art. Um, and, and, I, and he was being such a jerk about it, I actually felt bad for Jeremy. Like, I should reach out and, be, and like apologize. Be like, I'm sorry, this guy was my roommate for years and he's just having a moment. I don't know, it's an easy shot to yell. Like, are white people not allowed to paint Native Americans? He. I guess it depends on what they do with it, but I mean, I don't know what's what's off limits, what's on limits, and like how do you enforce that? You know, I think it's a harder question than just yelling at a successful painter on Instagram. I mean, on on Facebook. So I reached out to him on Instagram. I was like, "Hey, like your city painting is so beautiful," and uh, left you a question: Are you the guy that so and so was yelling at on Facebook on Valentine's Day? And, uh, and he did remember it, and he was like, yeah, I just figured that was his personality, so I blocked him. It's like, yeah, makes, makes sense. But he thanked me for reaching out. Whatever his process is. But he has this one painting that was on the Artist of Instagram feed that just popped up at me when you opened the Instagram, and it's got all the little squares of activity there. So he did a city painting, and he had painted the background, and then he had drew all the buildings, 
And it had all this detail of him like putting the tape down and painting the road line and painting the cars and all this. So I was like, that is so joyous. That is everything joyous about painting is what he's doing right here. So I want to do um, a similar painting of Belfast. So I might go to the Hotel Europa and take a picture from up there. It's a high spot. I'm not sure if that's the best spot, but I'm going to try and find a, a good high spot here to take a photo of the city. So I got a big canvas. So I'm excited to make something on here. I have this problem where I'm always like, I can't make anything epic or big because I'm going to have to like throw it out or no one's going to buy it. What am I going to do? I can't. I'm always moving around. What am I going to do with all the stuff? And then I was like, you know what? You can't not, you can't be an, like, what is wrong with you? You're an artist. You can't not make it work and say it's because you have to go somewhere eventually. I mean, just give it away if it's not hard or burn it, you know, whatever, make a video. So both, like, just sell them or... And tonight is my last burlesque class, but it's also the rescheduled annual general meeting for the art studio. So I feel like I should be there because what if I, uh, there's something I should do or get to do if there's some opportunities or what if I want to get to know everybody. So, um, yeah, it was a good thing I went to that meeting because I ended up being their Instagrammer. They've been around for 30 years, Flax Studios, and they don't have an Instagram. So I have my ring light. I can do little interviews of the artists. And yeah, I'm excited to build up a visual campaign from scratch for an art space. Yeah, I don't, there's not really a chance to know anyone here. And it's not like a much of a public spectacle. Everyone's just sort of in their studios and it's all separated. And there's this girl next door to me right here is her door and she's never here. I don't even think she's put anything in here like check it out like I, I put a fleur de lis cloth separating the door let's, let's see if she's actually put anything in there oh my god what if she's like staring at me because she can hear me doing this oh okay she's a few boxes these artist studios are like gym memberships sometimes you sign up and intend to go and then you just don't go my hair is getting like this awkward shape. I feel like I should cut it. Not, I, I'm growing my hair out actually, but I get like these wings in the back and I'm like, is that cool? Or is that really stupid or does it matter? I'm gonna paint the background for that Belfast city painting. Probably with a, just a light bluish purple background. But check this out. I got a little Eversize guitar. Isn't that cute? Oh my god. I'm trying to yeah put together a set list to play at Granny Annie's and then someone told me the American Bar in Belfast looks for some music maybe. There's open, there's a lot of open mics but it'd be nice to get some paid gigs even though I'm technically not supposed to make any money here. Look on me it doesn't look that small <laughs> but it's kind of small. And I got a little amp, it was like 19 pounds, and it sounds fine. 